In this group, I hope we're going to prove the obvious statement that if G is a group of even order, then it has to have an element different from E that is its own inverse. That is, A squared is equal to E. If you like watching mathematical proofs, consider subscribing to my channel as this is what we do on this channel. Okay. So G is of even order. G is, well, let's see. The order of G is even. So G, the order of G minus the identity element, which is its own inverse, is odd. If every element, let's just say other than E, other than E was not its own or inverse was not its own inverse then inverses wouldn't would occur in pairs then inverses would occur in pairs. That is gi times gj is equal to e where g sub i does not equal g sub j. And I should say that GI and GJ are in the group. So they occur, they occur in pairs. But G minus E has an odd number of elements. How can we group this odd number of elements into pairs? We can't group or let me not use the word group. We can't pair off an odd number of elements. We can try. We can take the first two and the second two, pair them up the third two, but eventually you're going to have one element left over. It must be its own inverse. For if we tried, then in the end, there will be one element left over, and it would have to be its own inverse it would have to be its own inverse. And that is all we were asked to show, that there's an element in the group that is its own inverse. Because you can't pair them up if you have an odd number. You will have one left over. If you like watching mathematical proofs like this, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, click the like button, tell your friends and family about my channel. See you guys in the next video. Watch and learn.